Hello Webber Studios here, today I want to tell you how to pixelate a face using Blender. Now previously I'm in a tutorial on how to blow a face, if you want to see a more detailed way to track and mask then you should definitely go check that out, link in the description. Here we're just choosing my footage, uh, I'm not going to change the scene frames but uh, you, you should press on set scene frames but I find it easier to work with like tutorials uh, with lower frames because I don't need the excess. So I'm prefetching it uh, so it runs smoothly, then we set the location and scale with the tracker and add a tracker. Or press control and click where you want to add the tracker as well. And we're using this part of the node because I find it's the best place because it tracked all the way through without any problems. And uh, there we go, we change it to the masking tab. This is really fast. Uh, add the circle, G to move, S to scale just move it onto a face. If you want to see a more detailed way to track and mask um, faces uh, then you should go check out my uh, blur tutorial because I go more in detail on how to do it and it's uh, a much harder uh, face to track as well. So we press A, Alt S to add some feather and uh, then shift select on the tracker and press Control P. Now if you play everything's parented to the tracker so it all follows the tracker, all the movements. Now we go to Compositor and we add a movie clip. Once you input the movie clip, we se select the, uh, the clip that's already loaded in. We press Shift Control onto the movie clip to add a viewer node so you can see what we're doing in the background. Ugh, lovely. And now we go to Fit so you can see, uh, have a good view of what we're doing. So we add a alpha over node which is a merge node so we can merge multiple layers together. Now we add a mask and we select the mask that we created. It's good to get in the habit of renaming the masks and objects because when you get big scenes and a lot of masks then you'll be much uh, comfortable renaming things because there's less of a hassle of finding which one's which. Now we input, input it into the factor, and as you can see it's cut a hole in her face. Uh, but the colour underneath is white, so that's not ideal, we want it to be the same, uh, we want it to be her face, it's a pixelated, so we duplicate with shift D the uh, movie clip, and we plug it into the bottom, so now it's back to normal, like nothing happened. But now we're going to distort this bottom there and we're going to add a pixelate node. But unfortunately this doesn't do very much, we have to have two scale nodes for it to work. One on the first side and one on the second side. So now if we input some values, for example 0.1 for the X and 0.1 for the Y, you can see the image got really small, so we bump up times 10. Now as you can see the face is kind of pixelated, but since it's a uh, quite a big shot, it doesn't seem much. So as you see we cut a hole in the face and on the bottom there we added it back with some distortion of basically what we did was scaled it down. The pixelate node cutes the amount of pixels so it doesn't smooth it out and interpolate it and then when we um, when we uh, scale it back up the image doesn't change the amount of pixels, it doesn't smooth out to make it better it keeps the same amount of pixels but it fits the, the frame. So if you change the value to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and boost up to 20 because these values have to e when you multiply them they have to equal to 1 because 1 is the size of the frame and so whatever value you input it has to equal to 1 when you multiply it because 0 0.05 times 20 equals 1 0 0.1 times 10 equals 1 so every time as equal one, if not it will be um, it won't be it won't work. <laughs> now I input the alpha over into the um, composite and we can set the uh, number of samples to one. We uh, set it to FFmpeg with the MP4 and perceptually losses. Now we can choose an output file location. We'll, I'm gonna overlay it on a previous video. Because I've already rendered it out, but you should create a new one and make sure you have the right number of frames. And let's go to render animation. 
I highly recommend you to go check out my blood tutorial if you haven't already. Uh, you might learn a few things on tracking and masking, and also how to blur faces, which is the whole point. Thank you for watching.